Hey everyone, this is APR Teacher, and welcome to another episode of Event Eater. So in this episode, we'll be continuing with this dungeon. Yeah, that's the Sugar Cube Farm. Actually, it should be called Sugar Cube Cube Factory, but I don't know why it's called Farm. But anyway, yeah, we'll be continuing with this dungeon, and I think we're getting pretty close to where Jabber is supposedly at. Yeah, so yeah, we're gonna yeah uh, find him if he's here. Yeah, then settle things with him. But I don't think we'll fight him here. Yeah, probably we'll fight him elsewhere. Yeah, but after this, uh, this fiasco here at this sugar cube factory, then probably we'll I'll do some more sailing, and then if there's anything new, then I'll show it to you guys in this episode. Yeah, but well, the previous episode has been really, really tragic, really, really depressing. So yeah, you no, know, the kidnapped girls were taken to the sugar cube factory as Rich mentioned. Yeah, it's, it's really tragic. So, yeah, no words for it. Yeah, but that's why we need to take down Jabba. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that Jabba's daily scene is gluttony. So, yeah, he's just crazy. You know, he's just like a what you call that kind of a, a carnivorous guy. I mean, what's that term for it? Like cannibalism? Yeah, like I said, he's a cannibalist, a pure cannibalist. Except, yeah, I I think. I think I wouldn't be surprised if he actually eats human meat. Yeah, he's definitely a cannibalist. So, a sick, a sicko, a sick cannibalist. So, we have to stop him. So, let's go. Okay, uh, let's go up here. Ah, we have to take down the monster silvers. Okay. Right, so I guess, yeah, let me take down these warriors first. Okay, no problem. Alright, so. Take it down and we're getting very close. Wow, so many of these enemies! <laughs> this is a long stretch to I guess where the main the head office is, is at. So okay. We're almost there. Alright. Just give me a sec. Okay, so yeah, here we are. Okay, so I think Jabber is most likely here. I mean seeing that there's a boss event here. If not Jabber, then I will expect another boss. Yeah, some other monster or what that we have to fight. So let me save first. Yeah. And also, yeah, I remember, you know, remember the CG scene that we saw in the previous episode? Yeah, that an odds was playing with a uh, girl. Yeah. So, yeah, that, I think that odds is only summoned by the snake crest because the last time we saw the odds was, you know, back at the, the that mountain. Yeah, in Elk Resort, which was also summoned by Rosinante, also a member of Snake Crest. So I think odds is actually a monster. That it, yeah, that only belong to Snake Crest. Like that was probably created by Snake Crest or something like that. Yeah. So yeah, but I think okay, let's not waste time. You're going down, I think, for now. There he is. So Jabber is here. What the hell are you doing? Esther peeked into the room in the deepest part of the ruins and whispered, "This room's got even more splatter than the others." Standing over a floor covered in red blood, a white knight was watching a man chop up meat on a cutting board. Um, oh, white knight. That white knight. And that white knight and Jabber. Ah. This place is so, so. It's always so bloody and foul. Just how food processing is. Never seen meat before it's processed, have you? This sicko. Uh, that's human meat, for sure. And Jabba swung down his knife, fresh blood gurgled up. Do you have ultimate requested materials ready? A chef always cooks to order. Yeah, done. Jabba let the monster blood run into a bottle and handed it to the white knight. How do you know it's monster blood? <laughs> the old star's nothing compared to this. Not even refined yet, and it still gives me goosebumps. Good. This is of the utmost importance if Snake Press wants to change the ways of the world. Seriously, what, what ways of the world do they want to change to? Funny though, even I was shocked to find out Aiden's blood is actually made from monster blood. Wait, you're saying Aiden's blood is made from all this monster blood? Okay. Archfiend Aiden. He said that when his desire filled body met its air and burst apart, its fragments are what became monsters. Oh. So you're saying these monsters are fragments of Archfiend Aiden? 
I wouldn't be surprised if all these monsters merge together to become Archfiend Hayden, which will be the final boss. So this might have been so this might have actually been Eden's real blood at one point. Haha, <laughs> hilarious. The more faithful monster is to his desires, the better Eden's blood it produces. That's why you have to make them fight and attack people and let them have a go once in a while. The what that produced is our old Eden's blood. Yeah, but I'm making the desire even stronger. The desire to fight, eat, fish, all properly balanced and enhanced. And once all, this, all their desires converged into one big mass, you wring the monster's blood out, and it's like the ultimate soup stock. Seriously, you're, you're, um, you're mixing cooking with monster blood? I'm glad you're satisfied. It sounds like you put the full use of your skills into this recipe. Yeah, I tried to find someone else fucked up enough to think of feeding them a woman like like The old Eden's blood was merely a prototype of what you're after. But now we can produce proper Eden's blood, I'm sure. Well, I don't much care about what you're up to there. Have fun with that. However, Jammer, it's fine to be passionate about your work, but there's no time to waste on frivolous things. But I, but I thought you guys said, you know, just fulfill your own desires. What? Wow. I followed the ultimate's recipe, so that shouldn't be any problems. I think ultimate is referring to the supreme commander, right? And exporting this shit's easy. Just hide it in the sugar cubes and nobody suspects a thing. Wait, seriously? You're saying the... You're saying the... <laughs> the monster blood is hidden in the sugar cubes, so... You mean the, the people of... Humpty have been consuming sugar cube with Aiden's blood all along? Shit! That's not what I'm talking about. I'm simply warning you not to not to let your personal objective serve as a distraction. But I think all of you will will eventually succumb to your personal desires, objectives. You know, I mean, two of them, Rosinante and Rochford, have already succumbed to their personal desires. So I think Jabba is going to be next for sure. Yeah. So <laughs> can't stand did it, do you? You made more Aiden's black than you requested. What are you using it for? Ah, you already know. Don't pretend you don't. I'm just sprinkling it on the sugar cube farms. Seriously. On the sugar cubes? I take it that so they can absorb the Aiden's blood through the soil. That has any effect. Even playing to if you can say it out. But it's decently addictive. The most important thing though is it makes you an Aiden's blood addict without even without you ever knowing. I see. Using Aiden's blood might be associated with sin, but nobody's against eating sugar cubes. I've been feeding that queen my sugar cube cooking every day, and now she does everything I say. Oh, so yeah, so Queen Queen Bell is totally in control, totally being controlled by Jabber, because he's been feeding sugar, feeding her sugar cubes mixed with Aiden's blood. Shit. Wait, does that mean Queen Quibble? But Aiden's blood makes makes a woman or a, a guy like uh last last for the opposite gender, right? Like feel last, crave for saxophone. So does then what does Queen Quibel crave for? <laughs> what kind of saxophone? Like 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 I don't think it's her husband, right? Considering that uh now I think Queen Quibel doesn't like her husband. Yeah. Don't tell me Jabber, but would Jabber like that? I don't think so, but Or maybe this Aiden's blood is a different type. One that doesn't like uh awaken the sec the sexual desire in you, but more like awaken something else in you. Some evil desire. Dark desire maybe, you know. In an Aiden's blood added before she even realized it. The Rushford couldn't get his own country. We have done it through cooking, though. Know? I have no idea why anyone run a country. Oh, so you didn't gain control of the queen so you could snatch the seat of power? I'm nothing but a chef. What I want is to feed people good food, so they can learn what the best food in the world is. So you're saying Aiden's blood is a good food? Straight you. Human flesh. That's even worse. So I can't wait for more, I tell you what. Once you, you've got endless combat leaving everyone stuck, 
they start to realize they had the biggest crowd around them from the beginning. I wonder whether they sh wouldn't sooner start. Let's right now offer our recipes. I'll start off flavoring it with tons of sugar cubes to really teach them the fine flavor of human being. Sugar cube mixed with human blood and flesh? Is this really what you joined Snake Press for? I mean, I mean, the Supreme Commander is totally fine with it, you know? All these, all these villains joining for their selfish desires? Yeah, and making the materials for this gave me even more ideas. Ultimate's recipe told you something, I take it. Yep, the flesh tastes better if it's from someone you know. Particularly when it's someone you learned. And that's a flavor you never forget, oh shit. Taste cooking with more than just a senses. I learned to taste it in your emotions. Jabba looked away from the white knight towards the corner of the room where the girl was tied up and forced to watch all the madness that transpired there. Oh shit. Another naked girl being tied up. No! Please, don't kill me! Don't eat me! And I'm pretty sure she's naked. Why does she have clothing? <laughs> Sorry. I thought I'd let you leave out of pity. But after all this looking after you and chatting and everything you've done, I can only see you as food now. Eek! Actually, I'm getting pretty hungry. Maybe now's the time. On a taste, White Knight? I'll pass. Okay, I ate dinner already. Maybe White Knight actually doesn't care about human flesh. I think he's kind of disgusted. Yeah. Yeah? Done then. Because I have to eat all by myself. Nope, we're gonna stop you. No! Ah, the girl was laid on the kitchen table shit. Her uh, clothes were cut off like you would remove the scales from a fish. Oh shit. So she was clothed, but now her clothes, clothes are being cut off. First things first, gotta drain the blood. Jabba found where he wanted to cut and held the knife right over the girl's neck. Oh shit. He's gonna die instantly. Itadakimasu, Eve! It's horrid! Travis atrocious city is not even the presence of a powerful foe like the White Knight to prevent Esther from running in to stop it. Oh, you got all the way here. Pretty damn impressive. From the way you put that, you knew they would try to come here, let them go anyway. You got it. Happy to have them. They look delectable. You put your personal desires over ours. That's an exemplary gluten. Yeah, so gluten is the daily. It's clearly the daily scene for Jabber. But I'm sure you have a daily scene too, White Knight, so you're saying put put <laughs> uh, put Jabba's personal desires over yours and the rest? You're calling the black you're calling the you are the kettle calling the pot black. You know, or the pot calling the kettle black. <laughs> you don't want to talk. Just true to my appetite. Can pass up a good meal? Jabber licked his lips as his eyes scanned over the poor waifu next to Esther. You better not feast on my waifu, I will seriously kill you. Never got a chance just being looked at before. Listening to all that made me want to puke. This guy's nuts. He's definitely nuts, yeah. Hey, come on, you guys think Ash meat looks good too, don't you? Don't talk about people like your cattle! All the same to me, sorry. I try not to be a picky eater. What the hell is this? He has no remorse for his crimes. It's no use talking to him. <laughs> nice. You try me. I know how to welcome a customer. Are we seriously going to fight Jabba now? A snap? When Jabba snapped his fingers, a door in the back of the room opened and a massive brown creature came out. Yeah, we're going to fight the, the monster first. Jabber will come later. That's a hot wheel! Good job, Esther! The electric shock packs a punch! A wheel? I fought wheels. It won't be difficult. <laughs> what an appetizer. Here's a monster with an enhanced desire for that. Oh. Let's do it, everyone! The monster roared and attacked the party. Oh, yeah, yeah easy! Okay, growling. Or rather, growing haunt whale and haunt whale. So these are basically these three light blue whales are just growing. What haunt whales? They are they are kids. 
yeah, yeah, children horn whale, yeah, children horn whales. But the one in the background are dark blue horn whales. They are the fully grown horn horn whales. Okay, um, I guess I'll use Fami. No way, Neo Thunder Strike. But they're weak to ice. So this one is single target, right? In a way, yeah, it's single target. I'm gonna use Fami Fatality. Fatality. Here we go. Ah. Oh, bye. <laughs> Okay, left the horn wheels. Um, I mean, yeah, let's see. Lancer, Legion, so delay target stun would be quite useful actually. Let me see. Uh, yeah, I will use this one. Okay, delay. Okay, um, I'm not sure if this one will work. Will this work? Nah, I'm just use going to power up first. Okay, all right. Wait to ice. Uh, oh, I don't have the the ice. All magic, so well. I guess I'll use snow laser. You die. Oh, 5742 damage. Okay, volley fire. Hmm, let's no, no, if this will work. Uh, no, I think I will not use this. Use defense plus all first. Okay, all right. Uh, let's normal attack. Okay, okay. normal attack. <laughs> Nice, 3322. Alright, um, my attack. Oh. Okay. Um, I think I can normal attack here. Okay, good. Alright, I'm just normal attack. Just normal attack. Okay, strong attack. And I think just normal attack. First. Okay, uh, maybe you shuriken? Yes, nice time. Okay, uh, guess now I attack first. Okay, ice arrow, nope, another snow laser. Okay, almost there. Wow, you see, Rich is seriously overpowered at this point. Alright. <laughs> okay, good job, guys. Alright, we beat the monster. As the black past the spa spasming monster at Jabber and the White Knight. Wonderful. You have made stunning progress. I can't see why the White Knight likes you. <laughs> that was just the appetizer. That your monster swear that came. Oh, what's going on? Hmm? Watch out! Get away from you, Esther! The nearly dead haunt will use the last of its energy to fire off lightning magic. Oh shit. Oh, Whoa! Oh shit! Is the, is the whole place, whole room on fire, or is it a whole place? Oh shit! Esther narrowly dodged the lightning, leaving it to strike a pile of sugar cubes and set it ablaze. Uh, seriously? The sugar cubes are burning! Oh shit! Are they comb combustible? <laughs> shit! They can catch fire easily. The sugar cubes. Wow! Now it smells really sweet in here. Must have treated too well. <laughs> this Nimrod set his own place on fire! Trying to make caramel, Mr. Chef? <laughs> yeah, I mean, burnt sugar is caramel, right? That sugar cube smell is making me hungry. Wait, this is no time to talk! The fire is spreading! Should we, like, extinguish it? Actually, I think we should, no? Or should we, like, just let the place burn? But then, if we let the place burn, then the sugar cube factory will be destroyed. Then, then the... You know, then the whole of company will run out of sugar cubes. <laughs> because this is where the sugar cubes are being grown, right? Hey, White Knight, let's put the fire out. Give me a hand here. Why? I have no reason to assist you. What? Yeah, precisely. Each, each of you have their own selfish desires. I don't have to help you. <laughs> Snake Crest is all that, un that unites us. And assisting others is far from our ideal as an organization. Precisely. Okay, yeah, so you get the materials for your ultimate Aiden's blood and all you're true with me? You're fighting now of all times? Well, they always fight and that's what, precisely what the Supreme Commander wants. But we can prove it to them that, you know, lack of teamwork will be their da yeah, downfall. Yeah, lack of, down uh, lack of teamwork will be the Snake Crest downfall. Yeah, we'll show it to them. I will always back to all the sugar cubes in the ruins. This whole factory is gonna be burned to a crease! And my precious ingredients are fucking rude! 
How dare you? Me? You're, you're scolding me? <laughs> it's not my fault, it's your fault that you summon all these haunt whales. It's your fault. You have no place to complain. Yeah. You're the one who botched in my secret kitchen. The brain's on you. I think he means me out of every one of you right this second. Huh? Devil's eyes turned a fear. Uh, fiery red, and he began emitting a more power overpowering aura than the monster. Wait, are we seriously gonna fight Jabba now? Is he gonna transform? Are you sure you should do that? You only know how to unleash your true form. And I don't believe you can control your power once you do. <sighs> the White Knight convinced Jabba to pull off, so the oppressive aura soon dispersed. Okay, so he's not gonna transform just yet. Uh, I mean, we just fought uh, 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 some monsters. I mean, I don't mind fighting him now, but I think it be probably will be a bit too much. These are Eve's ruins. The sugar cubes will naturally grow back again, but, but perhaps not if the whole building is destroyed. <laughs> Whatever. The pink, the pink queen's already my lawyer for her, so there's nothing more to be done here. Oh, I don't plan to assist you. I can at least send you back. Do that. With Jabba's approval, the White Knight raised his right hand, and both of them vanished from the party's side. Knew it, they can use the same teleportation magic as Esther. Oh, <laughs> okay. Not a good time to think about this. We need to get out of here too. Maybe we can like extinguish uh, the flames. Oh, but Rich doesn't have water magic. <laughs> Johnny has ice magic. I'm not sure if ice magic can work. Maybe it might. Alright. The party frantically fled the burning sugar cube factory. Okay. Looks like we managed to put the fire out, but the well, the fact the ruins is still burnt down. Yeah, it's charred. After the party escaped, they handed the kidnapped girl off to the adventurers and worked together to extinguish the fire. It's still charred. Yeah, the ruins. The knights that came running from the capital also went pale upon seeing the incinerated sugar cube factory. Anyway, we learned for sure that she has a part of snake press, among other juicy tidbits. The Sardinian's blood that's circulating around the world means most made from monster blood right here in Hunty. And they were using that monster blood to make sugar cubes work like an addictive trap. We had plenty ourselves. Does that mean we're addicted now? <laughs> Maybe. Well, it's not very strong according to them. It shouldn't be a problem unless you eat tons of the stuff. But then there's the queen. If she's been eating sugar cubes constantly day after day, she's probably in an advanced stage of addiction by now. Yeah, how are we gonna get her to, you know, out of that addiction? It's gonna be damn hard. Maybe I can't stop eating sweets because I'm addicted too. Oh no, Rich, we have to save you. Um, don't know about that. But now it's all been burned away. Sucks we lost all that evidence. But at least the sugar cubes shouldn't do, shouldn't do any damage. Like Jabba rebuilt the sugar cube factory, couldn't he do it all over again? He could. Yeah, that's why you have to stop him. That's why we'll stop him first. And to do that, we absolutely have to get Jabba away from the Queen. How though? Then we need to meet with her and figure something out after all. We'll probably need the help of Natal. I think this is probably when Natal comes into play. As much as I don't like, don't quite like Natal, we probably will need his help somehow. But if she's already highly addicted, she might take Jabba's side at why. Maybe, and that's putting aside how chefs have some real power in this country. Chefs. I might have a good, good idea coming, but... Give it some time. Oh, you need some time to think? Sure. Got it. The party left the burned down sugar cube factory. So where do we go now? I, I guess our next stop is Kolopti, so yeah. Yeah, so Kolopti is probably our next stop. Because before we came here to... Came to the island of Fervor, right? Uh, you know... Yeah, there's like two destinations we can go to, either Fervor, which we have just completed, and Kolopti. Okay, so we'll be going to Kolopti later. First, we'll cover the the, the, the remaining two other islands, uh, other than Kolopti, which is the, the island of Melancholy over here. Yeah, and the one northeast of Tampi, the island called Haniho. So I'll be going to the island of Melancholy first, and I'll see you there in a bit. Okay, so we're now at the island of Melancholy. Yeah. Okay, we're now at the island of Melancholy, so let's get on 
on board, on, and not, not say on board, the, yeah, get onto the shore. Alright, so yeah, I guess this is Melancholy Island. What's out here? I don't know, some, something to do with Melancholy, but Melancholy means something to do with sadness, right? So, this place is mentioned in Mother East Story. Today, we have a monastery on it. A monastery? Huh. I hear some famous saints trained here. No man allowed, of course. It's a haven for nuns. What? No man allowed? Then how? <laughs> then what's the point of me here, being here? A haven for nuns. Hoist! Spent about a year here too. Oh. Pra or Hoist, I can't remember. Yeah, I think it's Pra, right? Well, from what I hear, it's so boring that it's almost tortured. But that's discipline, right? Part of being a saint. Alright, let's investigate! <laughs> of course. Hmm, I kinda doubt the planets are based out of here, but it, I, I mean, it doesn't hurt to explore. Besides, the wedding will be soon. They'll be busy and probably a little touchy too. Oh, touchy, okay. It'll just be a little look. I want to see how it smells. What do you mean if you want to see how it smells? The party docked their ship at the island of Melanchol here. Yeah. So we'll dock, so that's why I wanted to say dock here. Okay, so uh, let's see what's here. Just a, a good look. So there's a couple of places. I think one is here. The other one is on the northeast. So I guess we'll be here. Oh, there's a 30 event. Let's check out. Hum, hum, hum. I am the luggage sorting man, Master. Ravaging around in luggage. Oh, so yeah, so now it's which? So I think that. Sure, you mean the canteen? Yes, thank you. Okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Huh? What? Huh? What did you get? Where did you get? Get what out? <laughs> from her, get what out from her hair? Sure, you mean the comb? Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, Grish is going to comb Grigra's hair. <laughs> you love it when you comb your hair. I mean, you love it when Grish combs your hair, huh? <laughs> well, she could. Ah, so Rich is being the mother now? <laughs> Acting like the mother now? Wait, how the hell did you see what looked like a dirty magazine in the ocean? <laughs> no regrets, of course. When it comes to saxophone, on no regrets. Oh, you're asking me to get it? Oh, sure, then I'll read it. Okay, the tower, right? Oh, you mean the tower. <laughs> you wouldn't want to get sick, Ramius. Try yourself out off quick. Alright, sniffer. Really quiet? What? <laughs> Kev, why are you sleeping in the middle of the... Is sleeping. Is sleeping in the middle of our adventure. <laughs> okay, and that. Okay. Master, what? Something to wake Kev up. Okay, the frying pan and later. I was thinking. I was actually thinking it was the frying pan, but I wasn't so sure. <laughs> wow, I was really spot on. I was actually totally thinking. What if it? What if it was the fr frying pan? Wow, and really, the frying pan. <laughs> because frying pan is the classic thing in Japanese you know, anime and manga and all that that is used to wake a person up. So seriously, I really didn't expect it to be frying pan. Ha! <laughs> Which banged the leader on the frying pan. Oh, I thought you were going to hit her with the frying pan. <laughs> okay, you're just going to bang the leader on the frying pan. Like, like using the, the pen as a gong and then the leader as the, the rod to hit the gong. Such a handful. Well, 
unfortunately, Kev, we are not under attack. <laughs> Which, you're kind of like everyone's mom, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's cool to be a beautiful mom. If you're the mom, I guess I'm the dad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're our children. Children. Ramius, Grigrim, Kev. Because <laughs> Ramius didn't get to be Esther's wife. I mean, Ramius didn't get to be the mom. <laughs> She's saying big things too? Did I? I didn't even notice. Okay. That does sound like a husband and wife connection thing. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that, but... <laughs> oh, you're actually laughing that you're the mom? Okay, so that's it for... For Rich event. 13 event, which I think is a knife 13 event. Okay. Alright, so actually Rich and Ra and Rigra are almost done. <laughs> Only left like 3 13 events. For Rich and Grigra. Then Kev left with 5 and Ramius still has 6 more. <laughs> okay. I actually haven't encountered any of Ramius 13 events in a while. Okay, uh, let's see. What else is here? Okay. Oh, oh, there's a house here. Let's check. Oh, there's a church here. Let's check out this church. I think this church must be where the nuns are? Yeah. Highest nun. This is a monastery of the Church of Mother Eve. Men require permission to enter. It seems like a church too. Oh boy, oh, but yeah, it's a monastery of the Church of Mother Eve. Well, men require permission then. Can I can I have permission to enter? We're looking for where the pirates might be hiding. Would you be willing to let us check things out? Are you implying that the Church of Mother Eve could be engaging in piracy? <laughs> I'm not saying that. We're in the middle of preparing for the coming upcoming marriage ceremony. So I must ask you to leave. Oh, so that means I think we'll most likely be coming back here to the island of Melancholy for the marriage ceremony, yeah, for points, for cross marriage ceremony, yeah, we'll definitely be coming back here later, yeah. The party wasn't allowed to enter the monastery. Oh well. Okay, um, I guess we'll go northeast then because I think there's another place northeast. Uh, oh, there's a chest though. I'm gonna get that chest. Grigra Mustard Armor Breaker. Oh, this one is good. Times 2.0 halves defense. I definitely want this. Uh, I'll take off Assassinate. Change to Armor Breaker. This one is real, will be really good. Yeah. Okay, let me just kill this. Oh shit. <laughs> Let's reach Magic Cousin on Henny. Okay. Alright. Okay, let's see. Uh, anything else here? Maybe to the... Oh yeah. Oh, I almost missed the landscape. I didn't notice the landscape. <laughs> Alright. Ah, now this is awesome. Some grass. Huh? What? A Hon Hon Bug and a Stack Stack Bug are fighting over honey. Hon Hon and Stack Stack. And they're both over 10 centimeters long. A staggeringly massive size. Wow, it's like a dream battle. Whoa, even a god is joining in. This could be the biggest tree they fight of the year. Sounds like a comment tree. <laughs> Wait, huh? Huh? Oh, we didn't want to interrupt your fun, so we'll just be having some fruit. Tell us when it's over. <laughs> yeah, this is your own fun, Esther. Mm, the fruit's definitely sweeter here. Feeling too. It's such an intense battle, though. Only you can appreciate Esther. Esther learned that his wife was, didn't have a high opinion of bug letters. Okay, insect letters, that's 53 out of 100 landscapes. Okay, so there's a shrine here. Okay, another one of the shrines where there's okay, another one of the nameless shrines. I wonder, that being said, I wonder if... I wonder if, um, if the, you know, the, the, be no, the beauty and... Yeah, and beauty, beauty and beauty are in Elkis. I in uh, 
Humpty as well? They might be, but I haven't found them yet. So maybe they, they are in hand, Honey Hook. Because I might be coming back here to get to complete a side quest for them. Yeah. But let me just you know walk around here first. Surely one of these paths leads to a chest. Okay, it's not here. So it should be the other one. So okay. Uh huh. There we go. What's this here? Ramius mustard shield deflect. 10% chance to dodge attack. Oh. 10% chance to dodge attack. This I think actually is would be quite useful. You know Ramius has 0% evasion. I mean it does help. Yeah, so uh but I think not now. Yeah, not now. Yeah. So when I have two skill points probably. Yeah, so uh okay, I guess you can just get up there. Get out. Okay, let's see if there's anything else I think. There's probably nothing else here already, so but I just want to double check in case I miss out any landscape here. See if there's any other landscape here. Okay, I think, yeah. I think no more land. Oh, there's one more chest. Never shop summon ticket. Yeah, that's why I see must always double check, make sure I don't miss out. I don't miss out anything. Yeah, I think there's nothing here. So I'll be going to the next island that is the island northeast. Of Humpty, Honeyho, so I'll see you there in a bit. You see, that's why it's important to look around. Yeah, because I spot another drone beater. Alright, let's see which one I should keep this time. Oops, not the map. Um, uh, use item. Uh, drone beater, no, actually, wait. Okay, uh, let's see. So, I think Ramius, I should. Yeah. I should give to Ramius next. Because Ramius is the only one that doesn't have the 1% thing. So, alright. Time for you to eat the drone beater. <laughs> Ramius, so let's go. Okay, good. Alright, okay, so yeah. I think that's all for the island of Manager. So I'll see you in the northeast island of Haniho. So, yeah, see you there a bit. Oh, I learned another new skill for Grigra, left punch, times 0.63 hits, used with right punch. Uh, used with right punch. But I don't think Grigra... But the thing is, Grigra doesn't have right punch. <laughs> um, yeah, so... You know? So, I wonder how this works, like, just, you know... But it's 3 hits, 0.6. Maybe, I don't know. But 3 hits used with right punch. Maybe I can try this and yeah, see what happens. So with 3 hits used with right punch, but... Hmm, I wonder how this works. I wonder if it'll work. But it says, yeah, use with right punch. I mean, rapid punches with the left first. This one point, use consecutively with right punch for a chance for finishing to Ah, I see. But the thing is, I don't have right punch yet. So I have to wait until right punch for this to be... Effective, but I can try out. Just try out in battle first. See how it works. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'll see you. Yeah, at the island of Honeyho in a bit. All right. So we're now outside the island of Honeyho. Yeah. <laughs> and just as you expect, yeah, this is the island of the Hennies. <laughs> Considering that there's a Honeyho looking house. Oh, yeah, Hanniho looking town over here. Yeah, yeah this, this, um, let me just use the teleport magic. Yeah, this island of Hanniho is definitely the home of the Hannies. Yeah, another home of the Hannies besides the Hanni temple. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna see Hannies here, so, but yeah, let's check it out. If we can enter here, that is. This is the Hanni in Hanpita Thailand of Hanniho. Because you're interested in seeing a Hanni island. <laughs> Agreed. And I can't imagine Snake Quest would put their face here, and Rich definitely won't like his face. Stop any fields of time here either. What should we do? Yeah, let's not bother. The party decided not to dock at the island. Okay, so I guess we're not... Oh well, as much as I would like to come here, any village, but... It seems like we won't get to... We won't get to go to the island of Hanniho yet, so... Okay. 
Ah, uh, well. But then, then I guess we'll continue the main quest. But as you can see, I have my love gauge max right here. Yeah, but I'm going to save this love next love gauge scene for the next episode. Yeah, because we I don't think we have enough time to uh have yeah access another love gauge scene. So yeah, I'm saving the next love gauge scene for the next episode. Right now, we're going back to Humpty. Yeah, to continue with the main quest, where, because we need to go see the queen first, right? Yeah, but but first, let me just like you know sail my ship around this island just to take a look at it. Yes, before I head to Humpty, so I'll see you a bit. Okay, so I'm just exploring the outskirts of the Hany Hany Ho Island, and as you can see, there's another one of those yeah Hany Hany uh Hany churches. <laughs> yeah. The, the first any church we saw was back in the, the area over here, the yeah the that mountain uh, to the north east of Lancelot, yeah the one where the the, the doodle bird was at, yeah so okay, it's, uh, so yeah another one of these in oh this actually in yeah the Henny Church or something, yeah okay good to know, okay if, if there's anything more notable here, I'll let you know. Yeah, otherwise I'll see you back at Hunting. Wow, well, looks like this Henny Ho Island is actually quite big. See, there's like more drawings to the north here. Hmm. This would be an interesting island to explore. It seems really big, this Henny Island. Yeah. Actually extends even further up to the north. So... So actually... What we see of Henny Ho here, this Henny Ho Island, right? <laughs> it's a, this is just half of it. There's like another half uh, further north, yeah. So I think this we don't have any business to come here. Maybe when we go to the next continent. So I guess I'll save the rest of this island probably for another time when I when I'm maybe in the next chapter. Yeah, because since I'm pretty sure we'll be going to the the, the next continent, which is north of Humpty, in the next chapter. So when I'm going to the, uh, it's called Hamlet, right? Yeah, the the, the continent of the kingdom of Hamlet. Yeah, the continent of Hamlet. So I'll be, so when I'm while I'm going there, I'll be also well, you know, swimming around, uh, sailing around here. So I'll uh, probably save that for the next chapter. So yeah, okay. So we're now uh, going back to uh, Humpty. Yeah, see those drawings on the ground. Yeah, good. Definitely miss curious about all this this island. Okay, but first things first. We're going back to the. Yeah. Uh, where was it? Yeah, the Humpty, the capital Humpty. So, right. Okay, let's go and look for the queen. Oh no! Wait. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I thought. Okay. <laughs> but because because which say we're supposed to look for the queen first, right? So I guess that means. Hmm. So Humpty is not where we're supposed to go to. So I guess that I guess that. Just leaves one more option, which is yeah, which is Kolopti. Yeah, because besides Furball, the other place is Kolopti. So I guess we have to go there. Hmm, okay. But I think yeah, I think actually this is a good place. No, actually let me just sail around this place first. Yeah, and then I'll see if there's anything new. Yeah, if there's anything new, uh, I will show it to you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you just outside Kolopti where I'll end the episode. Yeah, so I'll see you a bit. Oh, but before that, it seems like there's a new in cutscene for Kev. But I thought I've seen this before, but let me just check here again. Oh, not sleeping yet, Kev? Catherine responded without looking up from the book. Oh, yeah, this is another new yeah, in scene for Kev. Hmm, research. You can sleep before me. Alright, don't overdo it. Yeah, I know. Good night. Okay. So. Kev, wake up! Everyone else is up already. We're gonna be late. Ato go jubun. Because of Kev, the party only barely made it out of the hotel by checkout time. Okay, all right. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So yeah, I'll see you outside Kolopti in a bit. Okay, so it seems we are outside Kolopti now. Okay, this, this. City is most likely the city of Kolopti. Yeah. So, um, I actually, I think, I think we we'll just go into Kolopti. Actually, I say I want to 
stop this episode outside Call of Duty, but I think we'll just go inside Call of Duty. Because I think there's still some time, so let's go in. Alright. Oh no. Yep, Call of Duty. Here we are in Call of Duty. Not as many people, but there's tons of food stands just like in the capital. Much in the same way as in the capital and Zamti, the city was centered around food. Oh, so it's so this town of Call of Duty is more for the elderly? Ah. So this town is more of like for the traditional, the ones who are yeah, more passionate chefs, not just about the money. Oh, awesome! You're making some kind of candy over that stand. Doggy shaped rock candy, huh? Honestly, it looks so real that eating it would feel kind of gross. Oh. So these chefs are like kind of weird, making girl shaped rock candy and doggy shaped rock candy. <laughs> I don't think we can get the, the, the ingredient from the dragon's factory again, right? The, the King Squid Man. Yeah, because the Queen already had a taste of King Squid Man, so we need another really rare ingredient here. Who's this? Felton? Huh. Oh, so Felton, who are you? And you seem to know Rich. Is this like the future husband of Kra? The party was approached by a young man who spoke to Rich with a soft smile. So is yeah, Prince Felton from the Central Empire the one who's going to marry Princess Kra? Prince? The one from the Central Empire? Okay, so you're in secret. So what happened? I mean, you earlier you went to Humpty, right? But then you was rejected by Queen Pimbel. Is this the guy who's marrying Kroa? Oh, sure. Introduce right away. I mean, it's been so long. What? Why you call them ABC? They have names! These other waifus have names! Ah, so ka. Kekkon stand by one. Sakyo kosarechatta ka. Yeah, Rich beat you to it. Sarigenaku shoryak sarita kigasuna. Yeah, why you call the, the rest of Esther's waifus ABC? Um, I'm Esther Riggs. Everyone calls me Esther. Yeah, so is. Yeah, Rich Shu chan no muko san ka. Okay, I'll call you Fel. What? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Fel's fine if you want that, if it's your order. You might be investigating the snake crest, who knows? Oh. Order a wedding cake from a top rate baker. Mm. Actually, you know, I, I kind of have a very bad feeling that this wedding ceremony is going to be wrecked. Yeah, it's going to be ruined by the snake crest. Yeah, but I kind of have a really bad feeling about it, and I'm pretty sure it will happen. Yeah, but let's not think about it for now. That's probably in chapter 5 or so. Yeah, so we're gonna have to like take the wedding cake and like bring it to the wedding ceremony. The tower. Okay. <laughs> okay, Knight of the Central Empire. But another important character with big movies and the uh, half of her cleavage showing, okay. 
Uh, that's cool. She's kind of like wearing a uh, school uniform too, <laughs> and she kind of looks like Cloud from Final Fantasy VII with a with a sword. Yeah. But anyway, we'll definitely be meeting these two again later in the Central Empire. Maybe no, in the first in the Island of Melancholy when they get married, and probably later when we go when we eventually go to the Central Empire. Yeah. Pretty sure she is. Ah, this hottest section is zero night. Nanda, Yakugawa Oh, now you have. Now she calls you Fe. <laughs> That's the nickname. You're forced to call him. Fe Sama te. Nani. あははは。そうか。うん、ありがとう。え、とま、そういうわけで、護衛は十分なのさ。オッケー。ゼロ騎士が護衛についているのなら、王子が他国に滞在してもなんとかなるでしょう。ビディマッチ、いや。でも弱
those events are what we refer to as the wedding ritual, okay? Neat! Kuroa-san-te, I see, and you're definitely a lucky bastard. <laughs> Craw, okay, Craw is how you pronounce it. Okay, that's the So after my mother married that, that first ancestor, who well, I'm pretty sure is a human, that they. they they migrated to heaven or something like that. Maybe your mother is power, okay? What was it, a rag though? Oh, it's to honor Mother Eve, you know? Mother Eve is... Yeah, I mean, Mother Eve is an important figure, you know? I see. Tokuni Wanga Kuniwa, Oto Samaga Hikyokosa, no Hineki no Kemo Arushi. Okay, father is, your father is on the cost after tragedy. Okay, yeah, the Central Empire right here. Oji! Ah, go men, go men, yo. Dabra, so many Niramanaide. Okotte, I must say. Shashi, Jikoku no Warunuchi, a Hikaita Hunga Yoroshi. Okay. Are you? うん。お父様はアーサーの悲劇の後、体調が悪いと言い張って地下の施設に引きこもっているんだ。Locked himself away in an underground facility. So it's like baby to repent for his sins, for the crimes that he committed, for starting the after tragedy. え、一体何をしていることやら。<laughs> I mean, Felton is a pretty cool guy. Yeah, you know, he doesn't mind sharing secrets. But you clearly are me, eh? Oh, show him. 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 Is that a compliment? This guy seems kind of sticky, but he's nice enough. I mean, if he knew he would have already had an audience with Queen Queen Bell, right? But yeah, but he hasn't. Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, there might be some good ingredient in the island of, on the island of Kolopti. Huh? Why? You do know, but you do know, but why? Why Mine won't do it for you? Um. Okay. Why are you taking it? I'm cool with that. Hmm. Okay. I mean, sure. Okay, we'll do it. Pasta? That sounds like a uh, honey food. <laughs> oh, you've eaten it before, Ramius? Okay, so it has something to do with honey. So does that mean we have to go to the island of Haniho? <laughs> if it uses udon noodles, is it really pasta? Okay. So like a piece of a dead honey? So so basically we have to find a honey who is who is about to die, but like die in peace, okay? Somebody, Odayakani Kyo Hikitota Hani no Kakarawa, 
最高級の食材に匹敵するということだよ。東にある島ハニホーはハニーが暮らしている島だから行く価値があると思うよ。Okay, so this is the point where we'll be going to the island of Hanihou. Alright, the island of Hanihou is, is big, it actually is much bigger than the portion we saw when we used teleport magic. Yeah. Which, I mean, we've gone through the, your luggage scene earlier. You have overcome your Hanny's problem, right? <laughs> I mean, she has overcome her Annie's problems. Um, which, please don't forget that we cannot slaughter the Annie's. Because if we do that, we will get a large fragment. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. With a gentle smile, Felton walked off towards the line of footsteps. Ah, where did Millie go? Kanojo no Raoji got a chisaru to doji, Otomona could kill the Shimata. Asta, do. Seems like he's, she's really strong. It was definitely hot. Sort of gives an unapproachable aura, but I think that just makes her more attractive. That's not what Ramius is asking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. Um, she seems really strong. So, Asta ga yu no nara so na no daro. Sasu ga zero kishi to itta tokoro ka. I mean, yeah. Demo, ano oji no hou wa doko ka tayori nakatta ne. Oh, you never know. I mean. He might have some secrets under in his sleeves, you know. He he he's probably just acting, acting flaky, acting like stupid. But I think he's he could be actually be pretty strong. So, but now, I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm 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 going to be able to A Felton in charge of politics and Mide in the battles. And he's marrying Kwa too. Kwa too. Those boobies will be all his. Ugh. Urayamashi! Seriously, Esther, you have four waifus with you here. Actually, five, including Tio. And you're complaining about being jealous of Kwa? <laughs> I'm sorry. しかし良い情報を聞いたな。ハニワソバカ。ハニホとやらに行ってみるとするか。Yeah, sure. That's where that's that was my plan. Okay. 今いるコロプティからコロリと迂回して東側にある島だね。Yep, two islands east of Kuroki. Why? Why aren't you looking for? Oh yeah, the Hany. Sorry. Party learned that an ingredient that could grant them another meeting with the queen might be found on Hanigo. Right. Okay. Uh. Yeah. So that's going to be it for this episode. Actually, I just remembered one more thing. Yeah. So I'm going to mention it. So in the next episode, we'll actually first go to the church. Yes. To complete Simba's side quest. Yes. So not forgetting that. Yeah. And then we're going to complete the. Get complete same burst side quest and get her CG. Yeah. After that, then I'll I will probably um actually uh yeah explore the island of Kolopti for a bit before I actually go to the island of Haniho. Yeah. So that's going to be the plan for the next episode. Yeah. And so I'll see you next time. Okay, then.